Hey guys, my name is Mark Scheme and welcome back to my channel. Now before I go off and show you what my other car is, uh, I actually wanted to show you this. It's, got, it's been stored here in my little storage unit for a little while. I thought it was pretty cool. And it's a, from what I can tell, it's a 1925 Buick. It's actually pretty cool. It's got little, it's got suicide doors on it and from the look of it on the inside, it looks to be in pretty good shape. You know, looks like it has room for about five people in here. Seven if you want to squeeze a skinny person in the middle. And the wood wheels are kind of cool. I've never actually seen a car with wood wheels, or noticed the wood wheels anyway. Well, anyway, now if you saw my previous videos, you saw my BMW, but now this is my 2004 Subaru WRX. Uh, it's a nice little wagon that I've had for quite a few years. Now, I live in Reno, Nevada, and last night Reno was nice to us and he gave us some snow. And we all know what happens when it snows outside. That's right, you got it. People crash their cars. Check this one out. Uh, this happened at about 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, it was actually pretty neat. It was stuck up on the rock that it's actually crashed into that you can see. Uh, I didn't get a chance to take the picture of that before they pulled it off. All right, so it's dark outside now. This is probably the best time that I can show you this. And we'll turn the lights off. Now, if you look at my gauges here, you can see three of them lit up. But if you look real close on the right hand side, there's supposed to be a fourth one, which is my coolant temp gauge, which is kind of important. But throughout the years, I've changed out bulbs, uh, but I've only changed one at a time and they kind of just burn out and I change it. But this time I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take all the bulbs out and I'm gonna update them to a new LED bulb. So that way I have new fresh bulbs. They should be nice and bright and hopefully they don't burn out anytime soon. All right, so now it's the next morning as you can see. I'm gonna show you guys how to change these lights out. Now the first thing we gotta do is there's two screws there's one right here and one right there. And it's just a little Phillips and we're gonna take those out real quick. See if I can do that. Maybe not. All right, I'm gonna have to put you guys down just so I can do this. So I figured I would just talk to you guys while I was doing this, uh, make it a little easier since I can't seem to point the camera at this at the same time. Now I've owned this car a little while uh, I've actually had it for about five years or so. And I still love this car. I do wish it was a little faster, which I know I can do. But I don't know. It got to the point where I wanted something new. So I got the BMW. But I'm not going to lie. I still like this car. Alright, that's, that's coming right out. Maybe a little bit. Come on. Ah, there we go. All the way down. Alright, so. Now. That's a little dirty in there. I'm going to have to change that out. Or clean it out. So. Now that I got the little bezel out. It just takes the little two screws off the top. And the whole thing comes out. You just got to lower your steering wheel down. Um, there's actually three screws to hold this on one there one up top there and one there So once I take those out, I'll show you guys how to change these lights out Well, I guess while I'm doing this uh, I guess I could talk to you guys a little bit about my past since most of you guys don't know me um, I was a mechanic for about 12 years or so uh, I began my life working on automobiles and then after about a few years I got into the diesel truck world Worked on big stuff like, you know, Peterbilt's, bus, trucks, uh, trucks, buses, RVs. Honestly, it was to the point where anything that came in, we could work on it. And I kind of decided one day that it wasn't what I wanted to do. Like, I like to work on cars, and I love working on my own stuff, but working on other people's stuff that has to be done today wasn't exactly for me. So I ended up getting out a couple years ago. Uh, I'm not going to say what I do now, but I don't know, maybe one day I will. All right, so I got the cluster out on the dash. Uh, once you take the screws out of it, 
take the three of them there's three connectors on the top which are the three green ones here you just gotta unplug it and it comes right out now if we flip this thing over we can see all these little uh nubs or twisty things these are all the light bulbs that need to be changed um so for the one that's right here it's obviously going to be this little red one right here so we're going to change these out and all they are you just twist them and they come right out oh and as you can see right there the bulb is blown but i got these new led bulbs that i'm going to be changing them out with anyway so let's go ahead and pull these out of there Ooh, they're kind of fancy i got these quite a little while ago and i haven't actually looked at them but they weren't too expensive let's see what they look like Uh, those are not going to fit. Those are not going to fit at all. All right, so a whole new day. Uh, after messing with my gauges last night, uh, they did, one of the other ones decided to blow out and not work anymore. All right, so now that I've messed with my gauges, both of my left ones are out. That's kind of annoying. Now, I've gone to the store already. And so these are the old new bulbs that I got, the little LED ones I was going to upgrade to, but I didn't see anything new. So this is the new bulb that's supposed to go in there. Obviously, this one's not going to fit, so I'm going to have to figure out what to use these ones for later. But anyway, so all we got to do is got to pull the old, old bulb out of the little sockets that come out. And then replace those with a new bulb. Then once we're done with that, just screw it back into the place where it was. And I'll go ahead and change out this one too. Since this one decided not to work. Well, apparently that's not even the right size bulb that's supposed to be in there. So that's the bulb I pulled out. This is the bulb that's supposed to go in there. I don't know if you can really see a difference on the camera, but this one's a little bit smaller. The old one really doesn't even fit inside the socket, so I don't know if that one's been changed before by me or who, but it wasn't the right bulb. So, screw that one in there. So now, we're ready to go ahead and put this back inside the car. Alright, back in the car now, all we gotta do is plug everything back in. This thing will be good to go. Plug in my three little connectors. One. Two. And I wish they made the connectors a little bit longer so I could see where they plugged into. All right, there we go. Got the cables all nice and plugged in. Set this back in there where it goes. There go. And then we'll give it a quick test. See if they all work now. Turn my lights off. Turn those lights on. Turn that light off. Oh, look at that. I got all of the lights now. All right, so all I gotta do back now is just screw everything back together. And from there, we're all done with what we're doing. All right, all back together. Now we just gotta go for a test drive, make sure it all works. All right, so I was actually able to find what I could use these new light bulbs for. They happen to be the same light bulbs that go in the rear for the license plate light, so. I'm gonna have a nice license plate light upgrade. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you like what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, the next time I post a video, you guys will know. Also, I'll leave my Instagram down below if you want to follow me. I post there from time to time. I'll see you guys next video.